Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? We're back in Vegas. Made it home safe. What's going on everyone? We had a really good day, productive day. I'm still recovering from that weight cut, you know, that, that does something to your body for sure. So I'm taking it easy. No need to, uh, no need to go back. In it all crazy right away. I'm not gonna get any better. I'm not gonna do anything with that. So, you know, just recover. One thing that's very important after you go through a tough weight cut is to lift weights. Just think about it as you break your body down or your muscles down and then by lifting you like build everything up again you know you get all your strength all your gains back pretty much so it's like just a healing process lifting i should use it as healing i learned that when i got my uh, my acl surgery when i got my surgery the way to recover was just by uh by doing a lot of leg workouts so that that made sense into life you know when you break down the body just the best way to build it back up is by lifting weights. People don't realize how important lifting weight is. It's not only like to get strong, no, it's even more than that, like your body needs that. And you know, recovery is, is very important. People don't don't give recovery the, uh, the focus, the value that they should. You know, if you're if you not recovered, how, you, how do you expect to perform? the best of your ability the next day you know if I don't recover today if I don't get enough rest today how do I expect for myself to do good tomorrow you know that's that's pretty much impossible so make sure that you guys are uh, resting too it's very important I had to learn the hard way I was training reckless like any 16 year old kid would you know that gets into MMA at such a young age like I did you know and I paid the price by busting on my ACL you know she's training so much not hydrating myself well enough, um, not stretching enough, all these things added up and ended up busting my ACL. Like, it's, I'm human at the end of the day. You know, you, you think of yourself as a robot sometimes. Like, oh, I'm unbreakable. But then one day something just snaps too, like, pop. You know, so you, that's, that's, that's one way to learn. I wish somebody would have told me, hey, if you do this, this, and this, you can prevent this. Maybe I would have listened. Maybe not, but maybe I would have listened. It would have been nice for someone to tell me at least. Nobody told me. But uh, I'm telling you guys now, so take advantage of that. You know, make sure you're resting, make sure you're stretching, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. All these things are very important. The joints, you know, people don't even know what the body, like, like what, what, what you're doing to your body when you work out. You know, make sure you do your research, make sure you study, make sure you know, like, how much your joints are suffering when you when you run make sure you understand like what you what your body's doing when you when you're stretching it make sure you understand how important to warm up is before sometimes my warm-ups are 45 minutes sometimes the warm-up is longer than the actual workout and i don't mind that at all like that's 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 really that's important that's good so just all these little things that um i've learned over the time it's just to take into consideration just think about that